uh, hi students uh, since many of you had uh, confusion how this uh, resistance rf which is a charge transfer resistance which actually tells what is the kind of impedance offered to the flow of electron from electrode to electrolyte or from electrolyte to electrode how this is a function of power potential right so for that uh, i have put this video so you can see this free energy versus reaction coordinate drawing so your reactant is here and this is your product product is at lower energy than the reactant but reactant does not go to product straight it goes through an activation state so from this point to the reactant energy is the activation energy that we need to supply for, to take the reactant r to this state then it will roll out to product side so how much is a so in this case what we have done as i told you before in electrochemistry you have a, uh, uh, advantage over the regular chemical kinetics that is the reaction rate can be controlled with the applied potential which is not possible in the regular chemical kinetics so how do you, how does this applied potential changes the reaction rate so from the equilibrium potential whatever the potential you apply so that difference is your over potential as i told you before over potential sign is negative for the reduction process and positive for the oxidation process whatever it may be the magnitude of the activation over potential is what matters if that is increasing whatever the direction it may be if it is increasing in the negative direction the reduction reaction rate will increase if it is increasing in the positive direction oxidation reaction rate will increase here we have applied over potential eta i am converting this into uh, this uh, eta into energy by multiplying n and f so the reactant state has shifted from here to there because the reactant is absorbed on the electrode so it will see the applied potential so it is lifted to this point so this gap is the nf eta but does similar amount of gap arises between the uh, old and new transition states no so here you will see only a slight uh, height for, uh, for, for uh, slightly the activation uh, state has um, uh, increased in its energy from here to here so this change is not equal to this change so you only see a fraction of this applied over here so you see alpha n of eta let us say this alpha n of eta okay so what happens that means uh, the uh, the, uh, the applied energy has lifted the reactant state from to here to here so the new activation energy barrier is from this point to up to here that is much less than the previous activation energy that we had because of that the probability of reactant transferring to product as increasing in other words the resistance offered to the charge transfer reaction whatever may be this reaction reduction or oxidation doesn't matter the resistance offered to that reaction has come down that's why i said the r of is the function of the over potential therefore if you carry out this process a different dc potential okay so you would see a different value for rf therefore the total impedance of the circuit will change okay because we can write the rate of the reaction as rate of the reaction as nfk is a rate constant heterogeneous rate constant centimeter per second and the reactant if it's a first order reaction the power is 1 so the k is defined as a frequency factor multiplied by a exponential term which contains the activation energy ea so the roughly this is equivalent to the form which is in electrochemistry which is e power nf eta by rt this is uh, positive for an oxidation process and negative for a uh, the uh, for a reduction process okay so since eta will have a sign so irrespective of the positive uh, version of the reduction or oxidation process as the eta increases in magnitude you would see this e power term will go up okay if in the e power terms value increase with the eta the k will go up if k goes up the rate of the reaction go up so as i told you the resistance here is inversely proportional to this rate constant so rate constant increase means resistance is coming down so this probably helps you to understand how this rf is a function of our potential uh, that is why a different dc potentials if you do the impedance spectroscopy measurement different total impedance you would get whereas the rs and cdl will not change the cdl only will be different the impedance offered by cdl depends only on the frequency that at which we are imposing the uh, you know uh, the voltage waveform 
and this one will depend it will not depend on neither frequency nor the applied dc potential or nor the imposed uh, ac voltage waveform etc but this one will depend on the uh, will depend on the uh, the applied dc potential and the the magnitude of the uh, delta v in the voltage waveform okay. hope this uh, clears the doubt thank you